Welcome back to another beautiful video. Today, I decided to switch things up. I did not like how I'm not trying to be flashy, yet I am standing in front of all of my clothing while recording. It doesn't really align with my quality and aesthetic over brand and showing off kind of style that I'm going for in general, not just clothing, but life. So I have this nice corner of my room here with a mirror and a plant and some paintings. But that is not what we're talking about today. Today we shall be talking about something that I bought yesterday along with the idea of how versatile are black leather shoes and should you buy some? As I have five or six now, including these. So yeah, some might not think that's a lot, but it is getting to the point where I have quite a few black leather shoes. But yes, today I am going to be showing off the Dr. Air Martin's undercover collab, Jun Takahashi. Um, of course, made in England. This is a UK size 9, US size 10, women size 11. These were 330 Sing dollar, which roughly goes to 230 US dollars. I know I saw them on Essence for about 180, but there is only a size 7 left. I shall link that down below if you are interested, but rest assured if you want it in a size greater than 7, unfortunately you are going to have to pay resale, which is unfortunate because it's such a beautiful shoe. Enough of the box, we get to the shoe itself, but let's get into why I bought it. As you can see, if it's on a flat ground, it has a sort of curve to its toe. This is the same type of curve that derbies such as Caracushion Pull, MA Plus, some Goody, and etc. I love how that looks. So when I saw that there was a Doc Martin, being stupid, I didn't know. Um, that there was a shape like this for Doc Martens because I never really looked at Doc Martens. I know people had always asked me like, oh you should buy Doc Martens, do you like Doc Martens? But I've always kind of avoided it. I've always seen it as the very artsy girl shoe and I'm very disappointed in myself for that because I have been limiting myself, which is another thing I'm trying to get away from. But as you can see, it has the beautifully ribbed sole Patent, very shiny leather, glistening in the light. On the front, an embroidered, or not embroidered, but pushed into the leather. It says chaos. On the other shoe it says balance. I'm not going to pick it up. Because after a day of wearing them today for eight hours, I at some point stepped in gum. On the side it says, we make noise, not clothes. This is the slogan of Undercover. They like to use it a lot, and it's pretty quirky. <laughs> no, I like it. And the inside, you can see the tan leather with it saying Undercover, Made in England, Doc Martens. And yeah, so much to be said of these shoes just because they're classic, and there's so many small details to it that you notice more and more each time you look at them. That is what I love in a shoe, and these are absolutely beautiful. I usually wear them with a pant with a higher leg, so I wear my Yoshi Yamamoto dress pants that I'm wearing right now, and I feel they look beautiful together. Overall, very nice shoe. Another spam call that is two in one video, leather boots. I think they are a great investment. There are so many different types of leather boots, and that, that sounds stupid because it's pretty obvious. But more what I'm saying is 
you shouldn't be looking at the leather boot itself. You need to be looking at the sole. You can get so much variety and uniqueness from that. If you're just looking at the toe, which, don't get me wrong, can make or break a shoe, it definitely limits you. And I feel that's a standout thing for leather boots is people will look at the toe. But really, there's so much more that goes on. And with each of my pairs that I have, they are so unique and so special to me. They don't feel like the same type of shoe. They just feel like another great shoe. And I greatly appreciate that. Well, that brings this video to a close. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing day.